Okay, first off, look at this dog. <laughs> this is Buffy, but I call her uh, Buffet. I'm dog sitting. And if you're an OG watcher of the channel, remember I used to bring Goo on and hang out like this? I actually got super sad when Buffy was sleeping in my bed. I was like, oh, I miss the Goo. It's Friday. And this video, well, actually, I guess if you're watching this, it's Sunday, but I'm filming this on Friday, which I normally don't do because <coughs> I've been sick all week and I finally feel better today, kind of. Buffet is very different than the goo. Say something. Remember the goo used to say, say something. She's trained and <laughs> um, doesn't attack dogs like the goo used to. She also doesn't piss in the house, which is pretty fun. Oh, roof. All right. Anyways, let's move along and talk about the holiday gift guide. Go down here. Again, not a gift guide. I don't like. I don't like when it's called that. I don't know why. Wait, I need to move this over. My computer is fucked. Basically, it's constantly um, the fan is constantly going off. And then the microphone picks up the sound and you all comment on it. I've been compiling this gift guide. Oh, gift guide. This cool gifts for cool people. Stuff to gift people. I mean, you have to get gifts on the holiday. It's inevitable. Um, so I've been compiling this in my phone as I've stumbled upon good ideas. You know, whatever. I've done this before. I feel like you've liked it. Cool gifts for cool people who like cool things. And I've actually um, divided it up into c categories this year. Look at me, you know, getting fancy. First category is vintage crap. <laughs> then it's art that we can afford because it's always fun to give some art, you know. Then home shit because that's the shit I know, home stuff. Then fashion which isn't my forte, but I do have some fun suggestions of just like jewelry, stuff like that, you know, fashion. And then just random other ideas and just specific items that would be fun to gift. If you don't feel like thinking of ideas of what to get your sister-in-law for Christmas or for Hanukkah or whatever. Actually, Hanukkah is on the 8th. So yeah, for Hanukkah or whatever you're celebrating or just any gift in general, a birthday, here are some suggestions from me. That's it. Let's, let's start. Vintage crap. I'm going to name some fun vintage stores to shop at for like smaller items and, you know, like affordable shipping and stuff like that. I have mentioned this place before, but shop. Biddy is probably one of my favorite like Instagram Etsy vintage stores. They always have fun curated stuff and I think they do like drops. Like they come out with like a bunch of stuff at the end of a week or something so you kind of have to pay attention but go follow them. They're really cool. And Shop Biddy also reminds me of Cousin Home. That's another good little vintage place to follow on Instagram. Again, perfect for gifts. Because, hey, you just want, like, fun, small little things, like little pieces of art or candlesticks. And they always have just, like, fun, unique stuff. Shop Biddy actually has really good art. And Cousin Home. Cousin, the Cousin Home? Is it Cousin Home? No, just Cousin Home. Uh, also has really fun art. And just, like, little, like, look at this page. What is this? A vintage flower pinch pot. That's pretty cute. I was actually chatting with Sabina. I don't know if you follow Sabina. She's Librarian's Wardrobe on Instagram. She has really good fashion. <laughs> Another neighbor. Um, she has really good fashion. <laughs> she's like a fashion account and she sells stuff on her stories sometimes. Uh, so go follow her. But she's she's the one that introduced me to uh, cousin Cousin Home. Wow. My brain is a little foggy. Um, okay, next, uh, the collection agency. I mentioned them in my last video. They're a new little Instagram shop. They have some pretty cute, like glassware, 
items and you know they're kind of starting out but i like their visuals from their instagram so the collection agency i'll have all of this linked down below and even if i don't touch on some places i'll probably have an even longer list down below so i guess you don't even have to watch the video unless you like to look at my face anywho the obelisk the obelisk uh, another really cool curated vintage store. It is not in the U.S. I know my audience isn't all in the U.S., so this is kind of this is kind of fun. I think they're a little pricier, but they have really good stuff. And also, it's kind of fun to go to those sites for inspiration. And then if you find something you like, just go to Etsy and type it in, and you could probably find a cheaper uh, version. There's also Carefully Curated Studio, which, again, is a little pricier, but if you're looking for, like, a cool like wooden vase or something. If you're looking to splurge a little more, that's a good one. Again, also really good for inspiration. Now we will move on to art that we actually can afford. It's always a little tough to gift art because, I don't know, art is so specific to one's taste, but I don't know, I still do it because I'm like, you will like this or I'm going to force you to. But anyways, Form Vintage, which I guess is a vintage store but it has a ton of art posters which I really like and I think they curate them really nicely for example this one wait I actually do really like this one it's 250 bucks so you have to really really love the person you're giving this to I like this for myself actually if you watched my video, my check out this fucking home of Able Shop she had a mobile a mobile mobile <laughs> hung in her family room and I thought it was from the MoMA design store which also is a really good place to get gifts from which I actually have on this list but anyways I thought it was from the MoMA design store and it's not it's from this woman called Midwest Mobiles and she mobile mobiles mobiles and if you look up her shop she has really cute stuff mobile mobiles why can't I say it? mobiles Mobiles. 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 All right, Mobiles. <laughs> she has really cool, like, mid-century inspired mobiles, and you could hang them in your family room like Abel Shop did, which I actually really loved. I actually ordered one for my friend who's having a baby because I was like, this is a good little baby shower gift, a little mobile <laughs> from Mid Midwest Mobiles. And she actually sent me it and helped me make a custom one. And it looks like this. Uh, yeah, go check out, go check uh, her out. She's very sweet. It makes them all herself. And we love that. You know, I'm constantly talking about Slippy Peach because she has fun art prints. I feel like a print is a really good gift. Oh, you done? Say goodbye. And another guy who offers cool prints, well, I think he just started offering prints, and he usually does, I think, acrylic on canvas. I could be wrong, but his name is Wyatt Bunce. Bun Bunce? Buncey? <laughs> Bunce? And I really like his art, and he recently released prints, which is fun, because then we can actually buy these things. Well, his art is pretty affordable and cool also, so you should check that out, but for gifting... You could go buy a print. I specifically like the ones with this like red outline on them. He said, I think I was reading up on his bio that he's influenced a lot by um, Hockney. Wait, I actually have, hold on. I forgot that I have this Hock, Hockney poster book. I bought this book when I was in Michigan. There's this really cool bookstore uh, by <clears throat> our like lake house thingy. And my mom and I always go, and they always have the best art books. So I bought this, and I think I ripped out a bunch of pages and framed them back, I don't remember, back in the day. Back in Chicago, maybe? Anyways, I digress. If you like Hockney, go check out Wyatt Bunce. He has cool stuff. Lastly, Funkadelics. I've talked about her before. She's my friend, Anouk, and she did that giant piece of art in my living room. But she also just released prints. More prints. Why not? Buy a print, frame it. Perfect gift. You know, they're not that expensive. And someone gets something from like a unique artist. Okay, let's actually go into fashion. 
stuff, fashion. I basically have like two people that I'm talking about because I don't really know much in this area. First, I will promote my tote bags because this is my channel, you know? And I'm gonna promote my own company, Was. We're launching totes December 10th and they should all arrive in time for the holidays, you know? And yeah, December 10th, they're launching. I'm super excited. Um, again, there's only a limited quantity, but I think a good gift with these totes are, well, all the totes, first off, but the wine tote and the Nalgene <laughs> is cute to like actually put a bottle of wine in there or like a Nalgene water bottle or whatever. I don't know. They're the perfect size for a bottle of wine. And the other totes are a good size for anything else. So yeah, those launch December 10th on was, which again is linked below. I'm not going to say that again. I'm not going to tell you anything. Uh, you know, you know. Okay. And then I have mentioned this company before, Aura C Jewelry. I'm actually wearing her earrings. She was here not too long ago at a market here in Los Angeles. And I went and I met her because I've been following her stuff for a while. I really love her jewelry. And I bought these guys and this ring. I feel like a lot of you always ask where my rings are from. Um, this is Aura C and she has such good stuff. And if you buy something now, I think it will arrive in time. Um, and by the way, this is the most asked ring and I don't know where it's from. Okay. It's from somewhere in San Francisco and I'm like a boutique, I like boutique, 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 um, that I went to like eight years ago and it's probably closed down because it was probably highly priced and San Francisco's highly priced and it's gone forever. So that's where that rings from. But this one, or a C or a C or a C is that correct yeah or a C she's so sweet what else do I have for fashion fashion I feel like it could be a better title than fashion I wanted to mention this company it's actually not a small business There's my neighbor again the perks of filming in a garage we'll just take a quick um social media break hey hey Hey, come here. What are you breaking? What? Come here. What? Chill. It's okay. Do you want to come up here? Okay, well, anyways, during that social media break, I've been getting a lot of replies because my newsletter launched this morning and people are liking it. Thank God. I'm not going to say how to sign up for it because you know where it is. Um, okay, moving on. Wait, no. One last fashion was, <clears throat> this is not a small brand, but I do own a decent amount of stuff from them. The Sport Sack. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they basically are like a more structured version of a Bagu. You know Bagu. And I own one of their backpacks. I don't, I'll try and see if the exact one I have is still out there. I, I got it like 10 years ago, but I get compliments on it all the time. And it's just like a simple, like good waterproof fabric and I like I just like that brand I like people have asked me to do like fashion content but I truly don't know anything <laughs> I shop at costs and then like goodwill or a C like the pants I'm wearing are target men's pajama pants from like 15 years ago okay so these next suggestions aren't necessarily um specific companies but just ideas that I have come up with and Kate has also helped me because I need help from others otherwise I'm just talking to myself every day a vintage lighter is always really fun and a vintage lighter case is cool my friend Basma has this cute vint like well it's not vintage I guess just a lighter case that you can put over a lighter so for all of your heavy heavy weed smokers or addicted cigarette smokers um you could get them this i need to blow my nose no now my nose is red this uh tissue holder is from amazon which is funny i saw it in this guy's uh bathroom once <laughs> this guy um <laughs> and i was like where did you get that god okay and i was like where did you get that and he was like it's vintage 
And so I took a photo of it, and then I Google image searched it, and it's uh, it's from Amazon. So uh, I will link that. Okay, so yeah, vintage lighters or vintage lighter case. Um, moving on. Vintage bottle opener. Everyone hates my vintage bottle opener. Well, this one, I was about to, the, I'll just show a photo because I'm not about to go inside and grab these. But this one I got while traveling. I think this is such a fun little gift to get when you travel because it's easy to bring back and people love it. And people like this one because you just, you know, pop open a beer. But all my friends hate this one, which is my wine opener, which I actually <laughs> uh, took from, well, I didn't take it, but I rented it from a prop house and then I just didn't return it because I wanted it. And then I got charged, you know, for like losing it and it's mine. But people hate it. I mean, it looks cool, but people hate it. There's definitely a ton all over Etsy, eBay, all of the above. Just use your Googler, you know? Oh, the MoMA Design Store, which I already kind of touched on, but they have a lot of fun art books and other fun things, you know, little doodads, little thingies. These are all just like, it's like, what do you, you know, you want to get people unique gifts, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. And it can't be big. You have to put it like in a box. So I don't know. MoMA, MoMA Design Store. Which also brings me to Addyway Books, which is a really cool bookstore online. And I have a few other bookstores that I really like to look at, um, whether it's design books or books you want to read or vintage books or whatever. Addyway Books is such a good, good spot. So I will. Uh, uh, I'm not saying it anymore. I talked about this in my video with Kate um, where we talked about what we like in design right now. And I was saying and I was talking about how a really good holiday gift would be to take. Um, I like can't talk. I need caffeine. I need water. OK. Take a frame and put a really cool like patterned piece of wallpaper or a piece of, you know, wood or just something cool and put like a little photo because I feel like a framed photo is um, fine, but this feels just like artsier if you put like a little photo with like a big matting. Now I'm like looking at the, look at this photo that I have up on my wall. Hold on. This is actually um, on point. Okay. First, this is a little photo of my mom standing on a counter so that would be cute you know like with a frame like bad example go like that cute um and then I wanted to show you this photo which is so funny of me and my sister my mom is preppy you know that and that's uh that's us me and me and Teague like what this is just the Midwest. We're just in Illinois. It does not. Do you think other people were like, what's going on? What is this What is this British family doing here? And then we're just a family from Illinois that dresses like this. It's pretty cute. Okay, what are those things called? I think they're called hot water bags. It's like, it's this basically. It looks like a little udder. And I have one. <laughs> and I use it a lot because I have so many stomach issues. Um, I think that's a great gift, to be honest. I feel like you can get cute ones, and I feel like everyone has stomach issues, all of, like, your ladies in your life. You can get them a hot water bag, and then you also can get really cute covers for them. I would like this as a gift, but if you know anyone with stomach issues, which I feel like half of you listening must, this is a fun little gift, a hot water bag and, like, a cute, a cute cover. All the ladies with your tummy issues. I am said lady with tummy issue. <laughs> tummy issue. But definitely not as bad as it used to be. Once I found out I was allergic to coffee, I stopped uh, being constipated so much. Yeah. Anyways, TMI. I think a vintage chess set, a vintage checkerboard set a vintage backgammon you know all those games I think are really fun to gift because why not and maybe I'll learn how to play chess if I had a vintage chess board and I feel like backgammon is a really fun game to play I used to play it a lot with my dad 
when I was younger. I don't rem- That's what I should get him actually this year. Like a really good backgammon set. Also Scrabble. One year we invested in a really nice Scrabble set because we are big Scrabble players in my family. But also no one ever wants to play with me. It's mainly just me. We're also big puzzlers. So I think a good puzzle is a is a good gift. I actually have this idea of converting this like weird shelf thing in our lake house into like I want it to be like a puzzle table that you can like slide out from the wall. That is how much we do puzzles. And we're constantly having to like move them around when you have to like do shit. Um, okay. Yeah, a puzzle, I guess. Sure. Any like game that you, you could like get it vintage, vintage jeffied. <laughs> Pomono is a fun site to shop off of. I think it's like a cherish. Oh, buy cherish. Okay. Well, Kate sent me these like horse um, knife rests. I think a knife rest or a chopstick rests are a cute little gift to give. Kate's working on a interior project where the woman really loves horses. So a lot of ideas she sent me involved <laughs> horses, which we do love. Um, like this guy, a horse head finial that, you know, like the things you like screw on the top of your lampshades. Um, again, that one's, I mean, is that one that pricey? That one is cute. Actually, no, it's only 54 bucks. Um, but I think that's such a cute idea. That was Kate's idea to give people a finial. I think that's how you say it, where you like screw that on top of your lamp. I guess that's not shocking coming from Kate and I, because we are constantly looking for a lamp or talking about lamps, which brings me to more ideas of giving people, um, lampshades. You could, you could, you could gift like a mini lamp. You could also paint someone a lampshade. You could thrift a lamp and paint the lampshade for them. So many fun ideas coming out of my sick brain. I think a wall hook, a wall hook <laughs> is also a good gift. I would like to receive wall hooks, like vintage wall hooks to hang your coat or whatever. So a wall hook, pretty fun. You could get crazy. Kate sent me these ones, which are actually pretty absurd. I think this had to go with her horse-themed project. Oh, these are kind of fun. The cows. That's cute for, like, a kid's room. I don't know. Wall hook. Sure. Add it to the, add it to the list. And when in doubt, when you're going to a party or you just want something super affordable, I think beeswax candles are the best gift. Anytime someone does something for me, I have a cabinet full of these beeswax candles and I gift them. Like Kate drove me to the airport the other day and I gave her a candle <laughs> for doing so. So I think a little candle is always the best way to go. And then of course glassware. I didn't even want to really go into glassware because I'm constantly talking about how glassware is the best gift to receive. That's it. That's the bottom line. Like when in doubt, a beeswax candle or glassware or everything I just listed on this year's gift guide. <laughs> I feel like everything's like pretty affordable. I was trying to aim at, you know, like smaller businesses, smaller artists, stuff that like isn't going to break the bank. Um, a few fashion items, my totes. That's the best gift on here, you know, a little tote. If I think of anything else, you know, uh, again, it will be linked down below. And I am going to go eat. Um, another pre-made salad because I've been so, maybe I'll have ramen actually. I've been very lazy with my cooking because I've been so ill. I've been having to sit up in my bed when I sleep, like my back against the wall, just kind of like, you know, that's a little more like, <laughs> it, it actually is how I'm sleeping. It's been awful. I hate it. And I blame my mom from Thanksgiving. My mom and dad were sick and they are the type of people, well, mainly my mom is the type of person that will just be sick for weeks and not do anything about it. We have to like force her to drink water. My mother, my sister's living with my parents right now. And when I was there, I, uh, got to see how much she like takes, she like gives them their vitamins. They're just not the type of people that like 
care to moisturize their skin and stuff. They just they just want to live their lives. And my sister's really taking care of them. When I lived there, I did not do as much as my sister's doing. I would cook sometimes. I provided entertainment. I would hang out with them. So does my sister, I guess. I don't know. It's so fun to live with my parents. I'm going back for like a few weeks, I think, in the summer because I want to do a pop-up in Chicago with Was Products and with Able Shop and do like a vintage market hangout, like let's drink and eat and hang, kind of how I did here in LA. I want to do that in Chicago. So I do want to go back to living with my parents for some time. I like to live with them until I don't. Then I'm like, get me out of here and don't call me and don't text me until I reach out, until I'm ready. <laughs> Anyways, um, see you next week for one last video before the holidays. I'm taking off um, the last two weeks of December because I've like never done that. I've been so consistent with videos and I want to take some time off because I've just been like busting ass with this newsletter, prop styling, and the totes, and YouTube, no wonder I'm sick, you know? It's a constant. Um, let me show you the goo. I was going to say the goo. The the pup before before I sign off here. Say one thing. Say goodbye. <laughs> She's looking so funny. Why are you looking like that? We miss the goo, but we love buffet. Buffet. You're so pretty. All right, buffet's done with me. Time to go eat my ramen. Goodbye.